Yum, yum. Hello everyone, Steve White here for Pixel Fondue. So in my last video, uh, we did a little baking in Moto, and I showed how we exploded the mesh uh, to prevent any sort of baking errors from happening where the mesh parts were sitting close to each other. And I used a rounded edge shader to sort of bake those nice rounded edges into our low res mesh. Uh, so in this video, what I want to do is I want to avoid exploding the mesh. I want to use uh, the baking in Substance Painter. Uh, and we're going to use a feature called uh, By Mesh Name, where we're just kind of making Substance Painter think that the mesh has exploded. Um, and we're going to use uh, mesh layers in Moto to set that up. Um, so let me show you how that works. So right now we have uh, the same dumpster model that we used before. Um, and I have a low res version and a high res version. And basically they're the same models, but the high res version uh, just has, you know, nice beveled edges, nice rounded edges on theirs that we want to bake down to the uh, low res version. And so what I want to do here is I want to separate all these parts uh, down into uh, low and high res equivalents, um, down into uh, low and high res mesh layers. So let's start on the low. And what I'm going to do here is let's start on the lid here. So I'm going to, um, on the low res version here, I'm going to start on the lid here and I'm going to cut out the left lid here. And, uh, yep, starting left here. And I'm going to go to hit N and I'm going to paste that in. And then I'm going to go ahead and rename this uh, layer and just name this left lid underscore low. And then I'm going to jump over to the high and do the same thing. So I'll just double click on that. I'll cut it out and then hit N for a new mesh layer. Paste that in and then uh, again rename that and same exact name. Make sure that uh, uh, the, the naming is exactly the same, uh, only the uh, underscore will now be underscore high. So now we have uh, the under, you know, we have one mesh layer that's got the, uh, the low res version of that left lid, and then we have a mesh layer that's got the high res version of that left lid. And basically what you, what you want to do is uh, you want to have all your parts that you want to separate out um, on a high res and low res mesh layer. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of my mesh, you know, all of my parts that I want to separate out, and then I'll be back in a minute, and uh, and then we'll see what we have. Okay, so I finished uh, naming all the different parts and moving them into their own mesh layers. Uh, so you can see here I have uh, uh, moved uh, the left lid into its own layer, the right lid, uh, we've got the dumpster body, uh, we've got the wheels on their own layer, uh, we've got the bar on the front and the back of the dumpster, and then we just have some various parts uh, to the dumpster. And I think that um, these parts are far enough apart from each other uh, that they shouldn't cause any uh, any sort of projection errors on onto each other. So, um, you know, we turn on all these parts, and then we have uh, the whole dumpster body. So uh, now what we need to do is um, I've already gone ahead. Um, I'd already previously uh, created the UV map for this. Um, I've already set up my, um, you know, my vertex normals, you know, my smoothing groups, all that. Um, so we're ready to export to Substance and um, and get this baked. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select all my low res parts, and we'll export that as a single FBX file. So I'll select all my low res, uh, right click on that, and export selected. And I'm using uh, 11.2, uh, which uh, supports the Autodex FBX 2018 version. So uh, we will support uh, export that. I'll click OK. And I've already kicked that out to the uh, desktop. I'll just overwrite that. OK. And then I'm going to uh, do the same with the high. And I'll just select all those. Export selected. Same thing, Autodesk FBX 2018. Click on those, and we'll do the uh, dumpster high. Okay, so those are exported. So now we'll just jump over to Substance Painter, and we'll go ahead and start a new project here. 
and I'm going to use the PBR metallic roughness and I'll go ahead and load in my uh, dumpster low and we're not using UDIMS, I'll leave that unchecked. Uh, I'm going to use DirectX, uh, compute tangent space per fragment, this would be for Unreal. Uh, I'm going to use a 2K resolution. Uh, we don't have any normal maps or anything baked, so we'll just go ahead and click OK. So this should load in our low res version. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to go to our texture set settings and we're going to come down here and go to bake textures. So for just this video, we're just going to go ahead and click the normal and uh, bake a normal map out. So I'll just click on none up here and I'll select my normal map. And for my high poly parameters, I'm going to go ahead and uh, load in my high res dumpster. And uh, under here, so here is where we use our by mesh name feature. So if we come down here to where it says match, uh, we just come down to the drop down and we're just going to choose by mesh name. And what this is going to do is it's going to look at all these individual parts that we put into our mesh layers and it's going to match up every low res version uh, with the high res version. So here it has the high poly mesh prefix, uh, mesh suffix of high with the low poly mesh suffix of, of low. Um, it's going to match all those parts up and just look at those parts individually instead of looking at the overall uh, mesh. And so it's, it's sort of like, you know, looking at those parts as if they were all exploded. Um, it's a very nice feature of Substance um, and it will give you a ni very nice result. So uh, we have that done. Um, okay, so um, that's good enough for now. Uh, we're just going to load that in. I think I'll bake a 2K map. Um, and yeah, so let's we'll go ahead and uh, bake both of our texture sets. I uh, should just take a second here to bake. Okay, so now that it's baked, um, you can see it's given us a, a pretty decent bake. Uh, I can see a few, few little errors here and there, but uh, overall, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. You can see, uh, don't see any real real issues as far as like you know um, projection errors as far as things if I turn off the lids here uh, you can see we're not getting any sort of projection errors from the lids um, you know projecting onto the dumpster um, you know the bars aren't projecting you know onto the dumpster body itself um, you know we're getting those nice rounded edges um, you know baked down into those you know edges you know low res version of the dumpster so yeah, pretty happy with that. So, so yeah, that's how we uh, that's how we use the by mesh name feature in Substance. Yum yum.